You are watching DIY by Nikki Foster. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Nikki Foster and on this channel, I post budget friendly and inspiring ideas. Today in this video, I'm tackling something that I've been meaning to get around to and now it's time and it is this bathroom cabinet over here. It is one of those things that um, it kind of got out of control. You know, it starts with one, two things piling up. And then next thing you know, you have this big giant mess that has to be cleaned up. So in this video, I'm going to be tackling that. I'm going to be using some storage solutions that I think is like super easy to do. And anyone can do this. So today in this video, I'm going to be channeling my inner Marie Kondo and sparking joy as I reorganize under my bathroom cabinet. If you're not already doing so, go ahead and follow me on Instagram at it's Nicole Foster. All right, y'all ready for this? Whew. Okay, all right, here we go. That is it. Let me give you a quick tour of like what happened. So I bought these two baskets from Home Goods and baskets are really good for storing like bigger items so what happens with it is it's just an easy way to just stack things on top that's what happened to me so like i got my giant thing of glycerin like why is that even in here i don't even know i'm gonna be reorganizing underneath this whole bathroom cabinet and you guys are gonna be like whoa when i'm done so let's get started i start by removing everything from under the bathroom cabinet christmas bag like why? Once I started taking everything out, I realized that I had more than I thought. Another thing that gets you in trouble is when something is on Amazon and it's like too good to be true. A thousand scrunchies. Like I don't even wear scrunchies. Like why? I just, I can't. I kept going and removing the items that were underneath the bathroom cabinet. It was like crazy because I didn't even realize how much the baskets could hold and how deep the cabinet was. All right, I did it. The cabinet is now cleared. I'm gonna clean this off. I'm gonna clean it out with some cleaning sprays and stuff. Here's a quick look at the inside of the cabinet. Some products spilled on the corner and I'm just gonna make sure I get that out. Okay. So I'm just gonna use some Clorox wipes to get underneath here and wipe this out. This is really gooey. For stubborn spots, I use my favorite DIY cleaning solution. Just a quick note, you guys can check out my bathroom makeover video where I put a screenshot of the recipe in it. So now I'm just going to follow it with a sponge to wipe all the grime off. Um, the front edge was a little dirty as well, so I had to use some elbow grease on that part. Some of this stuff is just stuff that has to get tossed anyway. This is garbage, it's like broken. This can get tossed. I need my conditioner. So I have a ton of stuff to organize and put in containers. So what I think I'm gonna do is just kind of sort everything by item so that I have a good idea of like how much of what I have goes with what. I am someone who likes like things to be together. So for instance, if I got conditioner, I want all the conditioners to be in one location. So as you can see, I laid out all my items by like items. In this corner right here, I have all like my hair ties. Then I have hair conditioners and gels. Then I have my combs, makeup, and feminine products. And then right down here, I have larger scale items. So items that won't fit into one of those small drawers. So those will have to be ones that stand up. So this is how the clear acrylic Containers came in. This is just one of the sizes that I got. But I'm just gonna take the bag out. So it comes like in a sleeve. And then this part, this part is the actual drawer that the items are gonna go in. Since I sorted everything out, it was easy to place all the items in the clear acrylic drawers and the clear acrylic containers. I had already gotten rid of the excess items that I would not use or simply didn't need anymore, including the huge box of scrunchies. So I tried to keep most of the items 
that were the same together, but I did have to improvise on like a few things, which was totally fine because I'd rather the drawers be like neat and organized. Now I stack the organized containers back into the bathroom cabinet. The containers has a stacking option on them, so it kind of locks them into one another. I zoomed in here so you could see exactly what I mean. Even the open top containers kind of sort of snap into place as well, which is like really good. So I do have one suggestion. If you are planning to do this, I recommend that you do get one of the longer bases because if you don't, basically the bottom parts here will just like slide around. So as you can see, it's a little bit easier if you have one of the longer bases for the containers. The cabinet already looks super good. If this is your style, you can totally stop here, but I'm gonna add one more thing to customize my containers. Okay, here I am in Cricut Design Space. I start with the shape, I select the square option, then I click the lock button in the corner that will allow me to adjust the size to make it a little bit more of a rectangle. And then here in the top right corner, I'm able to put in the specific measurements. So for the width, I'm gonna do five inches and for the height, I'm gonna do two and a half inches. And I'm just gonna change the color to make it a little bit lighter so I can see the text more clearly. Okay, next I'm going to select my text option and then I'm going to put in my first word, which is conditioner. Okay, so now I'm gonna resize the font to 35 and then I'm actually gonna just change the font to use one of the script fonts and I'm gonna use the brush script. Okay, so basically this shows how it will look on my container because the yellow box basically represents the template for the size, so I know this all will fit. So I'm actually just going to remove this yellow box since I don't need it anymore and then fill in the rest of my text. So I finished putting in the rest of my words and I'm just gonna go ahead and click make it. Here in this part of the design space, it's showing me how it's going to cut. Cricut automatically organize the words in the way that will conserve the most space. All looks good, so then I just press continue. Also for materials, I'm using Smart Vinyl and the Permanent Vinyl. With Smart Vinyl, you don't need to use a mat, but I do like to use the roll holder. The blinking light indicates for me to go ahead and press it. So I press it and the machine measures and then the play button indicates that it's time for it to cut. Okay, so now I'm using my Cricut trimmer to trim off the excess of the paper. So you can't really see it here, but after the words end, I'm just gonna cut off on this side. The trimmer creates one clean, quick cut. I'm gonna use my this tool here with the little hook on it to peel the corner. So I'm basically peeling off the negative space. Cool. And then I'm actually gonna go in and take out like the centers of all the letters, like the center of the A. It's hard to see this because it's white on white. So, but you will see when I'm done. So for this part, I'm using transfer tape. I measure how much transfer tape I need. Okay, same process. I'm gonna just take this and peel up the corner. I place the transfer tape on top. Then I use a smoothing tool to make sure everything is nice and flat. And then now I'm actually just gonna cut each word out with the Cricut scissors. I love these scissors. These are so cute with the little cover. I just love these. So anyway, I'm gonna cut these out. So like conditioner, but I'm at, but if you're doing this, be careful because some of the words are like a little close together. So make sure I'm not cutting any words off. Okay, 
Okay, so now we are in the bathroom and I have my labels. I'm just gonna peel off the back and then stick it to the clear container. Before pulling the transfer tape off, I'm just using the smoothing tool one more time just to make sure it's nice and smooth. And it is, it looks so good. So I finished the rest of the containers. And if the transfer tape is like getting a little stuck, you can totally use the weeding tool to pull it off. Applying these labels are super easy and so necessary to give your storage that one final touch. And here's just a quick reminder of what underneath my bathroom cabinet looked like before. Super disorganized and just a mess. And here's what underneath my bathroom cabinet looks like now. It's super organized. Every product has a place. I just love how neat everything is. The clear acrylic containers help me to see all my items, but the labels I made using my Cricut Maker 3 is a nice special touch as well. And they'll help me to remember what goes where. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Everybody in the video, give mommy one billion and a thousand subscribers.